You want to play Minecraft with your friends, and in order to do that, you want to make a Minecraft server in 1.21.10. We're going to show you exactly how to do that in this video, going over everything step by step to ensure that you get your server up and running once this video is complete, and so you can start playing with your friends once it's all said and done. Now, first thing we're going to need to do is download the Minecraft server file. Everything we talk about in this video is linked down below, so go check that out and you'll be able to find a link to download the server file, which will take you to our in-depth text guide. This is great because let's say you didn't want a vanilla server like what we're making here and instead you wanted a plugin server or a forge or fabric server to add mods to your server. That's all covered in these videos as well on this page, but if you do want a vanilla server, just scroll down and click the download Minecraft button to go to the official download page. Here you want to click the Minecraft underscore server 1.21.10 link and when you do, the server jar will download. Now, before we move forward, I do want to mention that this server is using your own computer's resources, meaning you're going to need a pretty good computer and you're also going to need a good internet connection because it's using your internet as well. Also, because it's using your internet, it's only meant for your friends, your family, people you trust because anyone who gets the IP address of this server can DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline, make it really slow and figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. If you don't want to have to worry about any of that, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below to get a Minecraft server where you don't have to worry about security and things like that. That's all taken care of for you. And on top of that, the hardware is meant to run Minecraft servers. You can also easily add mods to your server if you want to do that and mod packs to your server as well as plugins and truly customize your server any way that you want easily. And last but not least, there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way should you run into any issues while running your server, which can happen from time to time, especially if you start modding or customizing it heavily. So with that, check out some of my game hosting again, the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now, with this downloaded, we are now good to go. We can minimize our browser and we want to make a new folder on our desktop. I'm going to name this Minecraft 1.21.10 server, and then we want to move the server.jar file we downloaded into this folder. So this server.jar just moves right directly into this server folder. Open this up and then double click that server.jar. When you do, it's going to go ahead and try to start your server, assuming you have Java. If you double click that server.jar file and it doesn't work, you don't get these files right here generating, it's because you need to get Java 21. This is required to run a Minecraft server and this is completely separate from Minecraft itself. You can find it, of course, linked down below, just like everything else in this video. And we can go ahead and click download here. And then we want to click on Windows. Finally, click on the installer link and it will download a program that you will run and install Java, just like installing any other program. From there, you'll also need to run the jar fix. After you get Java, download and run this program. It's going to be quick, it's going to be instant, and it's going to link that server file to the Java program you just downloaded. Honestly, this is where most people get stuck when starting a server, so I wanted to mention it. Now we can go ahead and double click that server.jar if you haven't to get these files and folders now that you have Java and we can open up this eula.txt file. Now assuming you agree to Minecraft's eula, which we do, we can change eula equals false to eula equals true, exactly like that. And then click file, save, and we're good to go. We can close out a notepad. Now when you double click the server.jar, your server is going to start. It's that quick and easy to get your server online and now you can join your server now that it is online. However, I do want to quickly mention there are some other things you can change here. For example, if you open your server.properties file with Notepad, you can come here and change stuff like your seed to your world. You can also change things like your game mode right here in this file. Right there it is. And then even things like your view distance and simulation distance, which can be great if you want to see further in game. There's a lot you can change in here. I'd recommend looking through it. And with your server online, this is what we call your server's console. It basically logs everything that's happening in your server. And down here at the bottom, you can enter commands. So we're going to go ahead and enter op space and then our username. By doing that, it's going to give us operator, allowing us to run commands like slash game mode and things like that in game. Now, how do we join this? Well, we're obviously going to need to play Minecraft in order to do that. So I will meet you on the main menu to join this server. So here we are in game. At this point, you're the only person who can join this server, but you'll just go to multiplayer and then add server. We're going to name this local connection because this is a connection that only you can use on your computer, which is local to you. Your server address is going to be local host, all one word exactly like that, and then click done and it will resolve and we can now double click to join this server. We'll see ourselves join back here in the background. As you can see, Nick's Games joined the game. Now, 
I'm in game. I'm going to run around. If you run around in game and you're not lagging, there's no issues, stuff like that. We can go ahead and see how to get your friends online. But if you're lagging at this point, you're going to lag even more when friends get online because they're going to be loading and using your computer's resources to load stuff in the server and stuff like that. So make sure you're not lagging here. If you're not, we can go ahead and get your friends to join. To do that, you're going to need to port forward. There's an in-depth guide on port forwarding that goes through everything step by step to port forward and get your friends to join your Minecraft server. Once you're done with this video, your friends will be on your server and you can pick up right where this video ends at the beginning of this video so go check it out link in the description down below to get port forwarding up and running but at this point you can now go ahead and start playing on your minecraft server and enjoying it with your friends once the port forward is complete if you've got any questions let us know in the comments but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more incredible content we'll see you in the next one i'm out peace